Hi, sir. Uh, Tabby? Uh, what's going on? Was I asleep? You're still catnapping, sir. This is a dream. Uh, quite a lazy one, apparently. Are we really just in a void? Why not at a party? Or on a beach? Ooh. I didn't exactly plan to have any dream visitors, Tabby. Why are you even... Oh. Is this because of the cheese I ate earlier? I, I, I knew the mozzarella was a bad idea. It was my cheat day. Very likely, sir. And now, who knows what crazy things your brain might dredge up in here. For example, remember the end of last year? Uh, which part? Don't be coy. You know what I'm talking about. It's your dream, after all. Oh, with the... Oh, the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The special item I got to help you with your little problem? <laughs> Does that still bother you? Perhaps you'd like to revisit it? What? Oh, no, Tabby, come on. I thought you were joking. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's barely a problem. It's more of a charming quirk. Well, your, um, charming quirk made half the kids cry at last year's law enforcement holiday party uh, when you accidentally shredded their gifts. Gift-induced clawing isn't something to be worried about, sir. We can fix it. So you're going through with this, all right, Santa Claus? All right, let's start with the easy stuff. Picking up an item without ripping the wrapping paper to shreds. There. See? Not so much as a scratch on it. I'm very happy to see that. Or should I say, not see that? <laughs> Where did you put it? It's right... oh. Ah, I just had it. <sighs> you really have to pay attention, sir. You put it into your briefcase without thinking. Look in there. Oh, right, my briefcase. I always forget I have that on me. It's like it's not even there sometimes. So, let's move on to step two. Unwrapping the present for the little tykes without tearing the ribbons apart like you're at Porky Pete's Ribapalooza Festathon. Oh, there's a broken toy in here. What a lucky child that would have been. Great work, sir. Now, try to combine the pieces of the toy without hurling one of them into a nearby parent's eye. I can probably combine this with the other piece. I can probably combine this with the other piece. I can probably combine this with the other piece. Ha! Ah, take that, you tiny piece of helpless inanimate plastic! Yes, that's the last time he'll... uh... Lie there, doing nothing. So, uh, time for the final test. Handing the completed item to the child without eating it. Hand me the toy, sir. I mean, that one's definitely not on me. Uh, there's no reason to make cake-shaped toys that look realistic and delicious. Impressive! Your detective skills are honed to a T, sir. You're all set for your next case. Well, thanks, Tabs. I feel like I might need a nap now, though. <gasps> a nap inside your nap! 
Mm, why not? A <laughs> double layer nap sounds <sighs> wobbly. A fire cannon? Indoors? Oh, that really isn't safe. Is someone there? Hello? Am I yelling loudly enough for you? Oh, much better. Thank you. I just... Ow! Ow, what the... I think I just walked into a wall of spikes. Hey, uh, can we get the lights on in here? Look, it's, yeah, it's cute. It's fun. Thanks for this, but, you know, time for the, some lights. Much better, thank you. Oh, hey, it was a cat kiss. Oh, neat. Hello there. Are you the owner? Who's asking? Oh, my name is Cuddles Nutterbutter. I'm here to serve you. <laughs> Don't need no new waiters. Thanks. Uh, serve you papers? I mean, I I'm a private investigator. <laughs> what sort of PI work is delivering papers? Shouldn't you be out investigating? Yes, well, bit of a dry stretch right now, if I'm honest, and this pays the bills. Happens more than you'd think. Well, show me a badge then. Of course. It's right. Oh, uh, where did it go? Uh, actually, actually, you know what? I forgot. Badges are being discontinued. So, don't worry about it. Ms. Ms. None of your business. Miss Business, then. I, I have a few questions for you. There's a whole lot of fire around here. Seems pretty unsafe, especially given you sell quite a lot of alcohol. <laughs> you gotta have fire. It's for the ambiance. The ambiance of catching on fire. Customers know the risks. We make it clear when you enter. No, you don't. It's pitch black. There's a whole lot of very loud, unnecessarily dramatic music and fire keeps exploding everywhere and one wrong step and your customers will be a cat kebab. See? You know the risks. Proves my points. This establishment is named the Voodoo Guitar. Is that right? Maybe. What's it to you? I represent the owners of the Voodoo Bar. Yeah, I'm sure you're familiar. The Voodoo-themed bar directly across the street from you. They feel, and I agree, that you, you copied not only their concept, but, well, everything, basically. Oh, yeah? They gotta prove it then, don't they? Ah, oh, I see you are a cat of some legal knowledge. Past experiences, is my guess. Yeah, thing is, from what I've seen of this establishment, it, it won't be difficult to prove. Do you really want this to go to court? You ain't got nothing on me! Yeah, we'll see. You have a sign outside your bar. It says, we're the voodoo place that don't serve no cursed margaritas. <sighs> Care to explain? Means we don't got no cursed margaritas? Firstly, that hasn't cleared anything up. Secondly, it's slander. It's true. No cursed drinks in here. That's our guarantee. The voo... The, the guitar guarantee, yeah. You obviously just made that up. More to the point, there are no cursed drinks in my client's bar either. What even is a cursed margarita? Uh, instead of lime juice? It's got the souls of the damned. Ms. Business, my clients do not add condemned souls to their drinks, as I think you well know. Yeah, but like, how can we be sure? <laughs> they don't have a sign. 
that's not what that that that, that doesn't even well, I, I don't see any guitars in here so your your whole name is a lie you clearly ripped off my client's entire concept and just picked a word that rhymes with bar Guitar is a state of mind, though, isn't it? Uh, the voodoo guitar is totally different from all other voodoo-themed outlets. Yeah, if you ignore all the bits that are identical. Uh-huh. It feels weird talking to that mask. Can you take it off, please? Yeah, I can't do that. Our clients expect it. It calms them. Yeah, if you're attracting the sort of clientele for whom that mask is calming, you need to work on your marketing. Listen, this is a tough city, okay? There's cats out there working hard to put food on the table, and they come here to relax, and the mask helps. When they leave, I hear them breathe sighs of relief. They're probably just glad they got through another visit here without being set on fire. Hardly anyone has been set on fire at the Voodoo Guitar this month. We got a certificate. I have a cease and desist from the voodoo bar. If you don't comply, my clients will see you in court where, inter alia, you will have to sit in some very uncomfortable chairs in a room with too little air conditioning. It is not a party. Big words don't impress me. Show me the papers. Oh, fine, I will. Every single thing I can see in here is a direct copy of the interior of my client's bar, except for your obsession with fire. How do you explain that? They must have come in and taken pictures when I wasn't looking. Oh, those jerks. Just full of answers, aren't you? And, and, and what about... Boss, I'm just about done copying the voodoo boss menu. There, there, there. Right, someone just said they're duplicating my client's menu. Uh, no, it's uh, rats. It's rats in the walls. Right, rats, right, rats. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, it's weak. Ugh. Take the papers. Now uh, you take the papers. Take the papers. Now uh, you take the papers. Don't go anywhere. Hey, I don't want that staring back at me in my office. It uh, can stay here. Hello, anyone back here? No. The most generic pictures imaginable of tropical locales. 